Avi Loeb just released new information about 3i Atlas yesterday, as amateur astronomers captured the clearest images so far. What we have seen on November 16th and 17th is once again reigniting serious debates about the physics of this object. In this video, I will break down everything that is currently happening with 3i Atlas in a factual and straightforward way. 3i Atlas disappeared behind the sun. From our perspective in late October, for about two weeks, we could not observe it with ground-based telescopes at all. The Virtual Telescope Project captured the first clear images on November 6th. Um, at that time, the comet was only 12 degrees above the horizon, extremely low, yet even from that difficult angle, we could see the first hints of an ion tail forming. Then on November 9th, we obtained significantly better images, and the tail became more visible as the viewing geometry improved when a comet moves around the sun, the angle from which we observe it constantly changes. Before the perihelion, the tail was largely hidden behind the nucleus from our line of sight. But now that the comet is moving into the morning sky, the tail is spreading out and becoming much more obvious. On November 11th, we captured images showing the ion tail stretching roughly one million miles across the sky. The tail points northeast, which makes sense because that direction is away from the sun. However, the unusual part of the November 11th image is the presence of a faint anti-tail pointing toward the sun. Then on November 15th, an astronomer in Thailand captured an even sharper image showing both the main tail and a very prominent anti-tail at the same time the anti-tail appears bright, structured, and unmistakable. And on November 16th, we obtain what may be the best image yet. It shows the comet with multiple jet features and tails, clearly visible. The detail is stunning the bright central coma, the main tail sweeping away from the sun, and the sunward pointing jet structures. Normally, comets have tails that always point away from the sun, this happens because of the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles blasting outward from the sun at more than 800,000 miles per hour. The solar wind acts like a cosmic leaf blower, pushing gas and dust behind the comet. So regardless of the comet's direction of travel, the tail always points away from the sun. But anti-tails like this are extremely rare. They appear to point toward the sun, Instead of a way, historically, anti-tails have been optical illusions caused by large particles trailing behind the comet in a way that, from certain angles, looks sunward. But what we are seeing with 3i Atlas is not an illusion. Multiple telescopes from different locations confirm the anti-tail. It is a real structure. So the question becomes, what kind of material is creating it? And why is it not being pushed away by the solar wind? We currently have three possible explanations, and each comes with significant issues. Explanation one, massive dust particles. For this to work, the comet must be releasing dust particles with a radius of around 100 micrometers Typical comet dust is roughly one micrometer, one millionth of a meter. Uh, a particle 100 micrometers across would be about one million times more massive than a typical dust grain. If 3i, Atlas is ejecting such unusually heavy particles, they would resist the solar wind and fall behind the comet, forming a sunward pointing anti-tail, but here is the problem to produce the observed brightness. The comet would need to lose about 100 times more mass than it would if producing normal sized dust. Yet we have seen no change in the comet's physical size after perihelion. The numbers simply do not line up. Explanation, two large ice fragments. Instead of dust, the anti-tail could consist of chunks of ice when ice is ejected, 
it sublimates immediately under direct sunlight, scattering light in the same way dust does. Usually, these fragments evaporate before they can be pushed into a normal tail by the solar wind. So from our angle, we might see a bright structure pointing toward the sun. But again, there is a problem for ice fragments to create the amount of brightness we observe. They would need to be relatively large. If they are large enough to scatter that much sunlight, they likely would not evaporate fast enough. They would persist long enough to be deflected by the solar wind. This explanation is possible but requires a very narrow set of specific conditions, fragments just the right size, to scatter light yet evaporate quickly. That makes it unlikely, though it is still the explanation I personally find the most plausible explanation. Three, technological activity. This is the explanation I disagree with, but about 80% of people consider it seriously we have seen objects in space that looked like comets but were actually technological debris. NASA rocket boosters, SpaceX hardware, and other artificial objects can resemble dark comets from a distance. If the jets on 3i Atlas are thrusters, rather than natural outgassing, they could easily overcome the solar wind. Thruster plumes would remain tightly collimated and point in whatever direction the propulsion system aims them, this would naturally explain why the jets appear to point toward the sun and are not being blown away. They would not be driven by solar heating, but by an engineered system. Modern telescope technology is advanced and accessible for around $500. You can buy a telescope capable of capturing detailed images of distant objects like this. The Virtual Telescope Project will soon host live streams showing the comet in real time. The eye and tail continues to grow. The anti-tail remains clearly visible and the coma is bright and well-defined. This object is putting on an impressive display. Its survival through perihelion without fragmenting is remarkable. Many comets break apart when they pass too close to the sun due to extreme thermal stress. But 3i Atlas remained intact. Images from November 11th clearly show one solid nucleus, no fragments spreading outward with jets and tails radiating from a single body. What makes 3i Atlas even more intriguing is the unusual level of activity it continues to display after perihelion. Most comets rapidly lose energy once they swing past the sun because the decline in solar heating suppresses sublimation and weakens their jets. Yet 3i Atlas has not shown the typical drop in activity. One possibility is that perihelion exposed fresh layers of volatile material beneath the surface, revealing pockets of gas and ice that were previously insulated from sunlight if these newly uncovered regions are now venting, they could sustain strong jet activity even as the comet moves farther away. Another explanation involves the comet's spin axis. If 3i Atlas is rotating in a way that continually brings active regions back into direct sunlight, the jets could remain energized far longer than expected. This combination of a potentially complex internal structure and an unusual rotational orientation may be the key to understanding why 3i Atlas defies the behavior of most known comets. As the comet continues its journey outward, astronomers are now turning their attention to what 3i Atlas might do next. One of the biggest questions is whether the object will grow brighter or begin to fade over the coming weeks. Under normal circumstances, a comet would steadily dim as the sun's heat diminishes, but 3i Atlas has already shown that it does not behave like a typical comet. If fresh volatile material continues to vent from newly exposed regions, its brightness could remain stable for longer than expected, or in a more surprising scenario, it might even increase again. The anti-tail also raises new questions. 
Based on current modeling of Earth's changing viewing angle and the amount of large dust particles trailing the comet, the anti-tail could persist for another one to three weeks before gradually losing definition as our geometric alignment shifts. But if the comet continues ejecting heavy particles, the structure might extend even further, creating an even more dramatic display in the early morning sky. Researchers are also watching closely for the possibility of new and unusual tail behavior with solar activity rising toward the peak of its cycle. Three, I Atlas could be struck by strong gusts of solar wind or even a coronal mass ejection. Events that can cause an eye and tail to disconnect entirely, tearing it away and forcing a new one to form in its place. Such an event would not only be visually spectacular, but could provide valuable insights into the magnetic environment between the comet and the sun. The formation of additional dust tails is also on the table, especially if new jets activate on different regions of the nucleus. In every scenario, the next few weeks promise to be a critical period, offering a rare opportunity to observe live, evolving cometary physics that may challenge our current understanding. If the jets continue even as the object travels farther from the sun, that would be highly unusual. Natural comets always become less active as they move away because they receive less solar heating. If Tresi Atlas remains active, that would imply its energy source is not solar in origin. As we move into the final weeks of November, Astronomers are beginning to outline several possible trajectories for what 3I Atlas may do next. Although most comets become steadily less active after perihelion, this object is proving far more unpredictable. Some researchers expect its brightness to gradually fade, which would be the normal behavior as solar heating decreases Others argue that the comet could maintain its current brightness if newly opened surface fractures continue releasing dust and gas into space. There is even a remote but fascinating possibility that 3I Atlas could brighten further in the coming weeks, especially if its rotation exposes fresh volatile material that has not yet been heated by the sun. If this unusual brightening occurs, it would suggest that the internal structure of 3I Atlas is significantly different from that of a typical comet. Another major question concerns the anti-tail. Anti-tails are typically short-lived features that depend on both the geometry of Earth's viewing angle and the presence of unusually large particles trailing behind the comet. Current modeling suggests that the anti-tail of 3I Atlas could remain visible for anywhere between one and three more weeks. If the comet continues ejecting large grains, the feature may even grow longer before eventually vanishing. As our angle shifts in early December, this means the coming days may represent the peak period for observing this rare configuration. Astronomers are also monitoring the comet closely for additional strange phenomena. Continued activity could generate a second dust tail, creating a complex multi-tail structure reminiscent of hale -Bopp. Sudden disturbances in the solar wind might cause an eye and tail disconnection event, where the entire eye and tail detaches, and a new one forms shortly afterward. Even more dramatic disruptions are possible, if 3I Atlas encounters a strong coronal mass ejection, which could twist or break its tail in ways rarely seen, whichever of these scenarios unfolds, the next few weeks will be crucial for revealing the true nature of this enigmatic object, offering a rare opportunity to watch cometary physics play out in real time. Let me know in the comments which explanation you find most convincing and if you enjoyed this breakdown, leave a like and click the hype button. As we step back and look at everything unfolding around 3I Atlas, it becomes clear that this object is more than just another comet passing through our corner of the solar system. It is a reminder of how much we still don't understand about the small icy bodies that 
populate the outer reaches of our cosmic neighborhood. For decades, comets have been treated as simple relics of the early solar system, dirty snowballs that flare briefly when their orbits bring them near the sun. But 3i Atlas refuses to fit that description. Its strange anti-tail, persistent post-perihelion activity, and complex jet structure are forcing uh, astronomers to reconsider assumptions that have stood for years. Every new image challenges our expectations the sharply defined anti-tail shouldn't be visible from multiple viewing angles unless something unusual is happening with the distribution of material behind the comet. The powerful jets that continue long after perihelion, rather than fading away, hint at internal processes, we cannot yet fully explain. Even the brightness variations from day to day appear to follow a pattern that does not match traditional models of comet sublimation. It is as if 3i Atlas arrive specifically to break the rules, to force us to question what we think we know. And that is exactly why discoveries like this matter. Science advances, not when everything behaves predictably, but when something refuses to whether 3i Atlas turns out to be an ordinary comet with extraordinary geometry a fragment from a distant reservoir of volatile rich material, or something even more exotic, it is already serving its purpose. It is pushing the boundaries of observation, encouraging both professionals and amateurs to look closer, think deeper, and challenge existing theories. That is the role of every anomaly in science, not to provide easy answers, but to provoke better questions. What makes this moment even more special is how accessible the discovery process has become. A decade ago, only major observatories could capture fine details of a comet like this. Today, amateur astronomers with modest equipment are contributing images sharp enough to reshape the scientific conversation. The story of 3i Atlas is not just about the comet itself. It is about a global network of curious observers who turned their telescopes skyward night after night, hoping to catch something extraordinary. And this time, they did. As the comet drifts farther from the sun and begins its long outbound journey, the mystery surrounding it may deepen rather than fade. Will the anti-tail persist longer than projections suggest will the jets weaken? intensify or shift direction? Will a large-scale solar event alter its appearance in a dramatic way? Each sunrise could bring a new surprise, each observation a new clue, and the more we watch, the more we realize that 3i Atlas represents one of those rare astronomical moments where discovery feels alive, immediate, unfolding day by day before our eyes. So as we continue monitoring this object in the weeks ahead, remember that you are witnessing cosmic history in real time. These events don't happen often, and they almost never unfold with this much clarity, complexity, and mystery all at once. Whatever 3i Atlas ultimately proves to be, it has already earned its place as one of the most intriguing astronomical phenomena of the year. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you for being part of this journey. I will continue tracking every new development, every new image, and every new scientific insight as they emerge. If you want to stay updated as a story evolves, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next chapter in this unfolding mystery. And as always, Feel free to share your thoughts, your theories, and your observations in the comments. The discussion around 3i Atlas is just getting started, and I can't wait to explore it with all of you.